I think I'll start by reading something from my book. Uh, those of you that have a copy, it's on page 43. As our bodies lock together in a passionate embrace, her heaving bosom <laughs> brushed against the potted palm, and it fell crashing to the marble ballroom floor. Oh, I'm sorry, that's from another book. Uh, Oh, well, I didn't really want to read from my book anyway. I'd rather have you read it. I actually wrote this book uh, to help create a revolution in how we think about poverty and what we do about it. For the past 25 years, I've had a love affair with poverty. It's very strange. People ask me why. But the people who live on a dollar a day mostly in rural areas in developing countries, in developing countries are fascinating people. They are grassroots entrepreneurs, they're survival entrepreneurs, they're funny, they're stubborn. Sometimes I have to count my fingers after I talk to them. And after uh, I talked to some 3,000 of them over the past 25 years, what I learned from them is basically what I'm going to present to you today. Krishna Bharat Tapa, when I met him, was 56 years old. He's five foot six, very stocky, had one of those topi Nepali hats on. He, he's smiling all the time. He looked like he could take on the whole Nepali army with one hand tied behind his back and keep smiling doing it. The most important question for me, but I don't usually ask it until I get to know uh, people better, is why are you poor? And he sort of looked at me like I was some kind of a dumbass, <laughs> but he was too polite to say so. And he said, uh, I'm poor because I don't have enough money. So to continue being a dumbass, I asked him, well, how, how could you visualize yourself ending your poverty? He said, I could end my poverty if I could make more money. <laughs> and it's clear that the main source of his income is from his two acres of farmland. But he wasn't really getting much out of it. So Bahadur was the first one who bought one of these drip systems um, and installed it at the end of that garden hose. Because uh, that garden hose, a quarter inch garden hose running all day is much more water than a household needs. And he uh, could afford by scraping together some money and getting some loans from his family, a $26 uh, drip irrigation system. And that $26 drip irrigation system irrigated about a sixteenth of an acre, between a sixteenth and an eighth of an acre. And he started growing cucumbers and cauliflower during the off season. Well, those fetch three times their normal price in the market in Kathmandu and also in Pokhara. And in the first year, he earned $256 after expenses and he never looked back. The family is now earning $4,800 a year. So they are all of a sudden not only out of poverty, but they are very successful and they're a very entrepreneurial family. There are 850 million people living on farms uh, who earn less than a dollar a day, just like Krishna Bahadur Tapa. And I suspect that 500 million of them could move right out of poverty using these simple kinds of approaches. This is called a treadle pump. This is a good example. If I fall and break something, uh, is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> now, th this moaning sound shouldn't put you off. Normally, that pumps water. This is much harder to pump, but this is the way this works. It's a it's, it's very simple device. How much do you think this costs? Including the what? The oil. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, including the oil. Uh, this sells for $8 retail. So what we did is we set up a system in Bangladesh. Now most of them are bamboo, there are many different kinds of treadle pumps. We didn't actually invent this. A man named Gunnar Barnes did. Uh, we create new markets. That's how we make this work. So we created a marketplace in Bangladesh consisting of 75 manufacturers. 3,000 village dealers who sell these things at a 12% margin. We trained 3,000 well drillers uh, on a three-day course. They gave them a little certificate. And over about 15 years, we sold at a fair market price without subsidy 1.5 million of these treadle pumps. Thank you so much for coming. I really enjoyed this. <laughs>